Are you feeling sluggish, experiencing tingling sensations in your hands and feet, or suffering from memory problems? These symptoms could be signs of a vitamin B12 deficiency, a condition that affects millions of people around the world. In fact, according to some estimates, up to 15% of the world's population may be deficient in this crucial nutrient. But what causes vitamin B12 deficiency, and why is it so important to address? Let's explore some of the top causes of vitamin B12 deficiency that you need to know about. Without any further delay, let's begin. Cause number one, lack of vitamin B12 in diet. Unfortunately for many individuals, especially vegetarians, a lack of vitamin B12 in the diet can lead to a deficiency of this crucial vitamin in their bodies. This is mainly because vitamin B12 is primarily found in animal-based foods, such as meat, fish, dairy products, and eggs. For those who follow a vegetarian or vegan diet, it can be challenging to obtain enough vitamin B12 without taking supplements. Therefore, it is important to make sure that your diet includes sources of vitamin B12. For vegans or vegetarians, fortified cereals, nutritional yeast, soy, or almond milk, and tempeh are very healthy sources of vitamin B12. Alternatively, you can also consider taking vitamin B12 supplements to ensure that your body gets the recommended daily intake of this vital nutrient. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Cause number two, pernicious anemia. Did you know that vitamin B12 is also essential for the production and growth of healthy red blood cells? And if you are deficient in this vital nutrient, it can lead to a condition known as pernicious anemia. It is a type of autoimmune condition in which the body's immune cells attack and destroy the cells in the stomach lining, ones that produce a protein known as intrinsic factor. This protein is mainly responsible for the absorption of vitamin B12 in the small intestine. Without enough of this protein, the body cannot absorb enough vitamin B12, leading to its deficiency. Pernicious anemia is most commonly diagnosed in people over the age of 60 and is known to be more common in women than in men. Symptoms of this condition are similar to iron deficiency anemia, such as fatigue, weakness, pale skin, shortness of breath, and tingling or numbness in the hands and feet. So if you feel that you have some or all of these symptoms, visit your health specialist promptly, who can better diagnose whether these symptoms are due to a deficiency of iron, vitamin B12, or any other reasons. Cause number three, gastrointestinal disorders. Individuals with gastrointestinal disorders, such as Crohn's disease, celiac disease, or ulcerative colitis, may experience damage to the intestinal lining which can make it difficult to absorb vitamin B12 from food. People with gastrointestinal disorders may be at a higher risk of developing a vitamin B12 deficiency. If left untreated, this can lead to long-term complications, including nerve damage and symptoms of anemia. And therefore, it is essential for them to monitor their vitamin B12 levels and consider taking supplements with the help of their health specialist. Cause number four, gastric bypass surgery. Individuals who have had gastric bypass surgery may be at a higher risk of developing a vitamin B12 deficiency, mainly due to changes in the digestive system. This is because stomach surgery can alter the anatomy of the stomach and intestines, affecting the body's ability to absorb certain nutrients, including vitamin B12. As a result, people who have had gastric bypass surgery may require lifelong supplementation of vitamin B12 and other nutrients to avoid their deficiencies. So if that's the case with you too, then you should never skip the medicines and supplements as recommended by your healthcare provider. Cause number five, aging. As we age, our bodies undergo several changes, including a decrease in the efficiency of nutrient absorption and utilization. This decline in absorption and utilization can create a deficiency of several nutrients, including vitamin B12. Studies show that older adults have up to 15% higher risk of developing vitamin B12 deficiency, and it increases as they age. In fact, during a study, it was observed that every one out of four people over the age of 60 were deficient in vitamin B12. And due to aging factors, 
Older adults are also more likely to have gastrointestinal disorders, which too can interfere with vitamin B12 absorption. Therefore, older adults may need to consume more vitamin B12 than younger individuals or most healthy individuals. Cause number six, certain medications. Another possible cause of vitamin B12 deficiency that you should know is that certain medications can interfere with the body's ability to absorb this vital nutrient. One of the most well-known medications that can interfere with vitamin B12 absorption is metformin, a drug commonly used to treat the symptoms of type 2 diabetes. Metformin typically works by reducing the amount of glucose produced by the liver, which can help control blood sugar levels. However, it can also interfere with the absorption of vitamin B12 in the gut, leading to its deficiency over time. Studies have found that long-term use of metformin can increase the risk of vitamin B12 deficiency by as much as 30%. Another group of medications that can interfere with vitamin B12 absorption is proton pump inhibitors. PPIs are commonly used to treat acid reflux and other digestive disorders by reducing the amount of acid produced in the stomach. However, this reduction in acid can also interfere with the body's natural ability to absorb vitamin B12, as the acid is needed to break down proteins in the diet that contain vitamin B12. Histamine 2, or A2 blockers, also have a tendency to interfere with vitamin B12 absorption. Like PPIs, they also tend to reduce the production of acids in the stomach which can reduce the ability of the stomach to break down food and absorb nutrients from it, including vitamin B12. Certain antibiotics can also interfere with vitamin B12 absorption. One example is chloramphenicol, an antibiotic used to treat bacterial infections. It has a tendency to interfere with the production of red blood cells, leading to the symptoms of pernicious anemia or iron deficiency anemia. If you are taking any of these medications long-term, it is important to speak with your healthcare provider who can suggest better alternatives to these medications or supplements to cover the deficiency of vitamin B12. Cause number seven, genetic factors. In some cases, some individuals may have inherited a genetic mutation that affects their body's natural ability to absorb and metabolize vitamin B12 from food. This can lead to its deficiency even if they consume adequate amounts of vitamin B12 through its diet or supplements. One example is genetic changes that cause pernicious anemia. This disorder is more common in individuals with a family history of autoimmune diseases. Identifying and treating these genetic factors can help prevent and manage the symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency. Another genetic factor that can contribute to vitamin B12 deficiency is a condition called transcobalamin deficiency. Transcobalamin is a protein that helps transport vitamin B12 via the bloodstream to the cells and tissues where it is needed. Sometimes, due to genetic mutations, some people lose the ability to make this protein. Eventually, their bodies won't be able to make use of vitamin B12, even if they are already consuming enough vitamin B12 in their diet. Early detection and treatment of these genetic factors can help prevent complications associated with vitamin B12 deficiency. So it's crucially important to get yourself checked for vitamin B12 deficiency to find the root cause and to take remedial measures as your health provider suggests. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.